Hey guys, it's Professor Pro, and can you believe that it's been two years since Super Mario Odyssey released? I sure can't. Although it's not my favorite Switch title, that honor belongs to Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey is still an incredible game that pleased millions of fans, including myself. Naturally, as with all popular games, this got people talking about the possibility of a sequel being in the works. And that's pretty much what this video's about. Because I'm fairly certain that Super Mario Odyssey 2 will be announced, and not only that, but will be released next year. Bold claim, I know. But let's get into why. My first reason for thinking that Odyssey 2 is right around the corner is the fact that Odyssey 1 didn't receive any DLC whatsoever. Well, I suppose that isn't entirely true. Post-launch, the game received a multitude of different costumes for Mario to wear, which technically counts as DLC, but it wasn't anything substantial. Let's look at a game like Breath of the Wild. Nintendo knew it was incredibly successful, so they released not one, but two paid expansions for it. We also have Splatoon 2, not quite as huge as Zelda or Mario, but still receiving a sizable paid DLC attachment. And of course, we can't fail to mention Smash Ultimate, whose fighter pass is blowing the minds of millions with every new announcement. The point is that nowadays, DLC will be added to any game that a company deems successful enough to receive it. Now, take in that Super Mario Odyssey has outsold all of these games I just mentioned, yes, including Smash, yet is the only one that hasn't received any sort of paid additional content. Why do I think that is? Well, I think it's likely that Nintendo is saving their ideas for the sequel. Nintendo developers are no strangers to turning expansions into full-on sequels, in fact, that's what happened to Super Mario Galaxy 2. The game was supposed to only build off of worlds from Galaxy 1, and was even titled Super Mario Galaxy 1.5 during early development. Nintendo soon saw the potential in a full-on sequel, and went full speed ahead with the project. I think Nintendo is doing a similar thing with Odyssey 2. And honestly, it makes a lot of sense. Even if the sequel only sold half of what the original made, that's still almost 8 million units. Nintendo would be crazy to not make an Odyssey follow-up. And hey, since I was just talking about Galaxy, let's do another comparison. Galaxy 1 released in 2007, with Galaxy 2 releasing in 2010, three years later. Odyssey released in 2017, so I think it makes tons of sense for Nintendo to follow in Galaxy 2's example and have Odyssey 2 also released three years later in 2020. Not only would the three year periods line up, but Odyssey 1 and 2 would be releasing an exact decade after Galaxy 1 and 2, which is irrelevant because I doubt Nintendo would care, but also just makes me feel really happy inside. The second reason for me believing Odyssey 2 is coming next year is Breath of the Wild 2's existence. Now, I know some of you are thinking, what? How does having a huge game next year help confirm another huge game for next year? Well, first of all, I don't think Breath of the Wild 2 is coming next year, but that's a topic for another video, and even if it were, we got Breath of the Wild and Odyssey in 2017, so having them together again is far from impossible. But anyways, the most important part of Breath of the Wild 2's existence in terms of evidence for Odyssey 2 is the fact that it shows us Nintendo's mindset. It's showing us that Switch era Nintendo is completely fine with asset reusing to make sequels quicker, which is great for them and for us. If Breath of the Wild is getting a sequel, there's absolutely nothing stopping Odyssey from following in its footsteps. My third reason for being so certain about an Odyssey sequel is the fact that competitors are revving up their engines. Ever since the Switch released, us Nintendo fans have been in a pretty happy place with the results. It's selling like crazy and has been slowly taking more and more of the spotlight away from Sony and Microsoft. But as much as I hate to say it, part of this is due to the fact that it was released so late into the generation. The PS4 and Xbox One are on their way out, and their replacements, the PS5 and Scarlet, are on their way in. Nintendo knows this, they aren't stupid. Sure, the most popular fan theory about how they're going to combat these new systems is the release of the Switch Pro, and while I believe this to be true, something that's just as, if not more important is for them to continue releasing big games. The Switch's launch year is what cemented it as a hit. Breath of the Wild, Odyssey, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, ARMS, Splatoon 2, Pokémon, Xenoblade, the list goes on! We need another year like that in 2020 and 2021. Next year to prove that the Switch is still worth it, and 2021 to cement it as worthy against the competitors' new offerings. Let me list the big games we currently have confirmed for 2020. Animal Crossing New Horizons... That's it. That's all we've got. Personally, as an Animal Crossing fan, that's all I need, but going into the battle with Sony and Microsoft's new contenders, we need more games. 
And not just any games, we need big, single-player adventures with lots to do, since that's what gets the most attention. We need games like Odyssey. Nintendo seems to understand this considering they're making Breath of the Wild 2, but releasing Odyssey 2 alongside it would prove to anyone who still doubted it that the Switch's library is phenomenal and is well worth choosing over other systems. And finally, my fourth point. This isn't really much of a point, but I'm gonna bring it up anyways. This tweet from Nintendo. Now, I'm 99% sure this means absolutely nothing, but if it does mean something, it's a hint to Odyssey 2. A lot of people were predicting that it could be some sort of Sunshine sequel or remaster, and while it might seem like that would be the case with the tropical setting, it really wouldn't make much sense. Think of it this way. The year is 2009. Two years ago, Nintendo released Super Mario Galaxy, a wildly successful game that fans adored. Would it make more sense for them to A, release a sequel to it, or B, announce Super Mario 65? There's no way Nintendo would release a sequel to Sunshine, the worst selling 3D Mario ever, when they have a new critically acclaimed series that's just begging to be used a second time. If this tweet does mean something, I'd say it's hinting at some form of Isle Delfino inclusion in Odyssey 2. But the most likely option? Nintendo just wanted to make a tweet. Anyways guys, that's about it for this video. Do you think we could be seeing Super Mario Odyssey 2 sometime in the near future? Would you want it over games like Galaxy 3 or Sunshine 2? Let me know in the comments below. Professor Pro, out.